Today is December 10th on a Tuesday. I just got the email yesterday from Tesla that my quote for the solar roof is ready and I can now pay for it. <gasps> 65,000. Yes, so first of all, this is actually my second quote and you see actually there are two quotes here. This is the original quote for 9.24 kilowatt system and this is a smaller scale system. And the reason why I went back and forth with them is simply because they included my garage in the initial quote. I'm actually planning to remodel my garage in the next couple of years. This is the original design for the $65,000 system. This is my house. This is my garage right here. In this part I'm planning to remodel. So I asked them to actually take that part out and possibly see if we can activate some of the other roofs. Because as you can see, everything that's black right now is actual active solar cells. And everything that is opaque is actually still tile, but there's no solar behind it. And this entire system was spec'd out at 9.24 kilowatts, which is a little on the low side comparing it to a conventional solar panel system. If I just put panels on here everywhere where I could, I would probably get 12 kilowatts, possibly more. I asked them to make those changes and I contacted my my contact and I gotta say so far communication has been really great how we could potentially yeah, handle the, the garage that'd be great yeah let me reach out to the design team now and try to get that response to you uh, before I leave or at least have the design updated um, so you can sign off tomorrow yeah so that we have some options yeah absolutely I will get those details now thank you so much so this is a new system that one came in much smaller 6.2 kilowatts it will probably not nearly fill my needs for the year but I'm thinking that ultimately once I redesign my garage and go up, I'm gonna do a second story on it. Then I will add onto uh, the existing system and then I'll get back to the 10K. Now, of course, I'm not just gonna say yes. I'm gonna obviously compare to other regular panels in California. And I use Energy Sage, which is a website that helps you in the process of getting quotes from all the different vendors and then be able to compare them. So this is one of the quotes. I got probably close to 10 quotes. It has the same warranty, excellent quality. Here you can see where they put the panels up on the house. So they actually put it on that one site that was inactive in the schematics. So they actually put panels up on this side. These portions are not being utilized by Tesla at all and these are actually really good uh, sites in terms of the sun exposure if you see north is over here so the south side is over here especially in the morning you get great sun over here and here i would consider this obviously to be the best part for solar then this then this and then these possibly so these are all things to consider and then look at the price of this system it comes in at $16,900. Compared to what my quote is from Tesla, bottom line, 50,000, the other one was what, 16,500 roundabout. Much more expensive. But is it really? Here's what I'm getting extra. I'm getting a new roof with an amazing surface. So these glass tiles are obviously very doable. If you've seen any of the demonstrations, you can tell that this is way more resistant than even like a metal roof or a clay tile. If I wasn't going to get this roof, the alternative for me would really be a metal roof. I wouldn't do asphalt shingles, which is the cheapest way of doing things. We try to collect the rainwater, so I don't like the idea of an asphalt roof. I looked around a little bit to see what are good quotes for metal roofs and it turns out that I should probably consider $16,000 to redo my roof metal. So the other quote, sixteen nine. So let's say it's 17000 And then another 16000 on top of that to get a new roof. Because my roof is old, as you know by now. I have a 30, 40 year old roof, double layer, this is bad as is. Then the other thing that's included in the Tesla price are two power walls, and these are the batteries. 
So that component alone is 15.5. Again, that's one of the reasons why I wanna go solar is because I wanna be independent from the grid. I'm gonna future-proof the system and part of that is to uh, have my own battery. Plus, I can actually then use the batteries to manage my energy even more efficiently. So for example, when peak power during the hot summer days is really expensive here in California, I can just completely run off battery at that time and solar because the sun will be up. At night, I can then recharge my battery through the grid. Now this is a theory, this might actually not work. Something I'm gonna have to figure out as we go along. So this is the traditional solar system, metal roof, and then let's say I would still buy the batteries from Tesla and they would actually be more expensive because I do get a discount. So they would actually cost 2,600. So it would be 17, 18, one would be if I go and not use Tesla for my main panels. 17 plus 16 plus 18.1. That system comes in at 51.1 regular. So if you compare this price with the Tesla price, which is 15.8, we're right there. So even though this is a much higher price, I'm actually getting exactly what I'm paying for. By the way, there's a tax credit of $9,500 right now. It might be a little more, a little less. So anyway, so my net cost of the system will be 41,000, which gives me a completely new roof, two power walls and solar. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna spend that kind of money on going solar. So here we go. Press accept. Okay, that's quite uneventful. Once again, I'm really excited about taking these steps and documenting the process along the way. I hope you enjoy it too. And if you are considering to get a solar roof or buying a Tesla, feel free to use my referral code. It gives you some extra benefits. I think you get free supercharging for at least a thousand miles. And I'm sure if you get a solar roof, there's some incentive there too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Apart from that, I see that you have like two layers of shingle. That doesn't really matter because we're going to take everything out Yeah. Uh, anyway. So everything will be replaced. If it was solar panels, that will kind of be a, an issue. Yeah. Just because